Do you guys love poke? I love poke. And here's the thing, I very rarely use a recipe to make poke. I work with three golden rules to make poke. Rule number one, the only fish that you can catch and eat as poke the very same day is tuna. Tuna is the only fish in the world that doesn't carry parasites that get transmitted to us. In other words, freshwater or saltwater fish all have the potential of passing along parasites. So what can we do about it? The only thing we can do about it is the same thing that all sushi places do about it. And that is the fillets have got to get frozen. For us, seven days is a minimum. So freeze your fillets for seven days, then you can create a pokey. Unless, of course, you've got some tuna. And speaking of tuna, I've got some bluefin tuna from my good buddy Dave. And we're gonna get going on this pokey. So the first thing I gotta do is dice this thing up. I'm gonna go for about three quarter inch dice. Oh wow. It's nice to have a sharp knife, I'm telling you. Okay, so this is the dice that we're looking for. Okay, and for my last piece here. There you have it. Time to wash my hands and time to get going on the sauce. Okay, so rule number two. Rule number two has to do with poke sauce. And what does it have to do with poke sauce? Does it have anything to do with what we use to make poke sauce? No, because there's, there's a tons of uh, different ways of making poke sauce. Here is the simple rule, rule number two. Do not use too much poke sauce. Just like an ordinary salad dressing, you add enough dressing to just coat the components and that's it. So there's your rule number two. Don't add too much poke sauce. Speaking of sauces, we're gonna make a really simple, easy poke sauce. We're gonna use soy sauce, we're gonna use some sesame seed oil, and we're gonna use lemon and tangerine. So just check this out. First thing we're gonna do is add a quarter cup of soy sauce. Almost. There we go. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. One and two. Now we're gonna add the juice of a whole lemon. And this will give us our sour component. And now the juice of two tangerines, and these are sweet. There we go. Uno. And last but not least, cuatro. There we go. Okay, a quick stir. And there you have it, ready for the refrigerator. Okay, rule number three. When it comes to making a poke salad, use whatever you want. I'm talking about vegetables, fruits, nuts. Oh my God, in Hawaii, everyone loves kukui nuts on their poke. But that's exactly what I mean. It's a salad. So look in your kitchen, find whatever you've got that's fresh, or go to the local market, or if you're fortunate like me, just go to your backyard garden and grab whatever's fresh. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, I've got my Dexter, I've got my bowl to put some vegetables. All right, let's go. And now I know I've got some fresh cucumbers for sure. And I think I've got some onions. I may even have some red onions going. So we'll check it out. And then I've got some herbs, so we'll see. Oh, there's the cucumber. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. Yes, indeed. All right. Time to cut this puppy. Look at that. Wow. There's some red onion. Boom. Yeah, that one's ready. Uh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Perfect. All right, and here's some mint. Wow. Okay, looks like we got plenty here. Cucumber, red onion, and mint. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, let's deal with this cucumber. Um, the first thing I want to do is a trick that I learned from my mom years ago, and that is to partially peel the cucumber, and it gives it a really nice effect in the very end. Just, just wait, you'll see. All right, so that's partially peeled. I'm gonna chop off the ends. And I'm gonna get this mandolin here. And I've got it adjusted for about a quarter inch, maybe a little less in terms of the slices. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, perfect. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. All right, that's as close as I, that's as close as I want to get. Okay, that's it for the cucumber. Let's tackle the onion. Straight out of the garden. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now for the mint. So I've got my fresh mint leaves, and what I want to do is I want to roll these guys out so I can shift and knot them, so I can cut them into thin ribbons. Perfect. And last but not least, I'm gonna chop up some almonds. Just, just wait. Make sure you don't have any big pieces lingering. There. That's about what we're looking for right there. That's awesome. This is it. We've got the cucumbers. We've got the onions. We've got chopped almonds. We've got our chopped chiffonaded fresh mint. We're ready to go. Okay, it's final assembly time. Here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our sliced cucumbers and we're gonna start laying them down in this, in this circular fashion. It's gonna make for a real great presentation. <laughs> one cucumber, remember we have one cucumber it's just gonna turn out perfect. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna take some of this thinly sliced red onion and scatter this around. Okay. And now we're ready for the tuna and the sauce. Okay, so both the tuna and the sauce have been in the refrigerator. Stir up the sauce again. Remember rule number two, rule number two. We're not gonna add too much pokey sauce, even though we've got quite a bit. Okay. Wow, that's just, that's the perfect amount. Look at that. I'm stirring. I added the sauce. I'm making sure that all the tuna is covered with the sauce. And then maybe I'll just add a little more. I mean, I don't see any puddling on the bottom. Let me add just a hair more. Okay. That's perfect. There's no puddling on the bottom. Everything's covered. We're going to take our tuna and put it right in the middle here, just like this. 
That's awesome. Oh, oh. Look at that, that looks so good already. Whoa. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna add some of these chopped almonds. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Take a look at this awesome pokey, and we made it without a recipe because we know about the three golden rules. Number one, make sure you freeze your fish fillets at least for seven days before you make pokey, unless you're using tuna. Number two, do not use an excessive amount of pokey sauce. You'll ruin the dish. And number three, number three, vegetables, fruits, nuts, anything goes. Just think of it, pokey is enjoyed all over the world and believe me, people use whatever vegetables, fruits, and nuts they have to create this incredible dish. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly. I wanna thank you for spending time with me today and we will see you on the next one.